Something happened here. <sighs> I don't think the ship is safe. We've run into the gap far too often. I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Aloy. I think we'll be safer there. What is that in there? I need to explore everything though. Okay, fine, we'll check this out. Oops. That's good. And oh, I clicked it. Why didn't it click? What you? My name is Creature Shepherd. This is my favorite firewalker on the Citadel, or this planet. Sorry. <clears throat> look at this thing. This puts. Whoa! Look at Zaid's mask. You can tell it's completely retro. Old school. Welcome to the M44 Hammerhead Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This is your onboard VI. Woohoo! It's like the Mako, but ten times better. Oh yeah, I forgot the resource mining thing. One of those things. Obstruction detected. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Oh, there's a place back here. Pull this down to mine this quick. Oh, stay in there. Stay in there. Okay. Good. We got it. We got it. Hey Rex, what you doing, buddy? Whoa! What are you ah, what are you doing? Why are you being so wild right now? Crazy kitten. Hey, be careful. I don't want you jumping on the F9 lane on my keyboard again. All that creaturistic stuff. Oh, look at that lens flare! Oh. Uh, okay, so we're flying around like a bunch of creatures here. Woohoo! 360 no scope, checking on. Perfect. I remember one time, I think the first time I was driving this thing, like, I was mining this and I actually fell off the edge. Oh, there's still one more over there. Okay, here we go, Shep. This thing is so fun to drive. If you guys haven't downloaded the DLC, I highly suggest it, because it's just worth driving around this thing. Okay, so there we go. We've got the Firewalker. What are you doing, Rex? You are just freaking out right now. Okay, so that's like the... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's kind of cool. The way he flies into the Normandy. But pretty much what that does, that's, that's not the only part of the DLC. There's, uh... You actually go, you actually unlock several new, there's like f five new planets, I think, that unlock now that you can screw around on with the Firewalker. <clears throat> so it's not just going and getting it and then not being able to use it. You get to use it. Even, I think you get to use it in the Overlord DLC as well, so. So let's see, it should show us all the different planets we unlocked. Let's go save Zaid, they're, uh, Complete Zaid's little mission too. Get all these DLC things finished. Oh, am I gonna be able to make it back? We'll see. Okay. Check 
this planet out real quick. Nothing really that fantastic, even though it says it's rich. Uh, not worth it. <sighs> not worth my time. If it's gonna be difficult like that. Where's the planet for this ring? That's weird, Rex, that really hurts. Oh, there it is. Rex keeps on jumping on my legs and clawing. Ah! It hurts. No, don't go back on my computer. That's when you hit the F9 button and stop the recording. As always. Unbelievable. Look at him mosey on over to his food. Go eat some food, drink some water like a creature. Uh, poor. Not even worth it. Okay, now we get to go to I mean to help Zaid the Masani. Wait, what you Oh wait, no. I think I went to the wrong one. I did. Wow, I'm dumb. Zoria <laughs> Wow, that was dumb. That was really dumb. So dumb, so dumb. Okay, so we are landing now. <sighs> Pretty much what's going on now is we are going to meet up with Zaid's old buddy. Yeah, Kasumi again. We're going up to meet up with Zaid's old buddy named Vito Santiago, who is the actual leader of the Blue Suns organization. He's quite the creature. So, you'll see him here in a minute. Zaid is here for revenge. Can you see that big nasty scar? Or Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that scar isn't from that, but that's how his eye got like that. There's the refinery. He's holding hostage. Captive and hostage at the same time. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a There's Vito. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Um. Let's get the locust out. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Apparently, this, this guy isn't very nice. <gasps> There's a pie jack! <gasps> a pie jack! Those James's. Look at him. The pie jack! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go, Mr. Pie Jack. Boom! Look at that squeaky, that squeaky noise. Hey, buddy. Oh, can't really hit him. Oh well, what are you gonna do? See you, buddy. Have fun. There's so many pie jacks here. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Oh crap, here we go. Oh, why don't I have my flame armor? I mean, not flame armor. Okay, you guys think you can take on Creature Shepherd, huh? Well, you got another thing coming to you. I just don't want to run up there. I'm gonna end up out in the open. Everyone's like, oh, just use your charge all the time because it recharges your shield instantly. No, that's that really does nothing at all because I've played through this game on Insanity and the last thing you want to do is charge every second of the day. I mean, it's okay if that you have a few enemies, but when there's like five or six enemies, you pretty much charge into a barrage of gunfire. You may get one guy, but as soon as you get him, you're immediately under heavy fire. You lose your shield, then you die. That's how it goes. Like this guy right here, he's a pyro. 
So I can't really charge in on him or I get blown up. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm a creature. The Tarion, too. Oh, there he goes. And then we got some stupid mechs. Oh crap. Oh crap, get away from it! Run, Kasumi! Now we can use the charge, because I, I usually only use it when there's one or two enemies left in a certain area, and I know there's good cover. Otherwise, it's just like a loose.